Hi, my name is Jason Kwong, a contemporary abstract artist. I'm from Hong Kong and based in United Kingdom now. I'm currently in Year Two Fine Art in Winchester School of Art, University of Southampton. Hong Kong has a complicated history, which causes some debate in trust with China and United Kingdom. Even after returning under the systems of Chinese governance, discussions and social movements still appears for years. As a pupil growing up in this divergent society, I learn to often reflect on situation from multiple perspectives, which shapes my artistic practice to be reflective and transformative. Because whenever I think my coordinate changed it, my art reflects on it and formed it differently. I have a strong connection with Hong Kong. The linkage between me and this place is my sense of belonging, which motivated me to start my studies in art and develop my theme now. In my life, there were several social movements happened and had massive impact on me. They had created tensions in society and uterable situations, and in a broad view, this is not only happening in Hong Kong. But the entire world is also having similar scene, or even worse in many cases. I could not unseen all these happenings, as I do not want myself to be ignorant. But at the same time, I feel extremely annoyed and disappointed by the present complexity in this world. Therefore, I decided to make art that have a simple character to show my utopia in form of a work, and to further displace my attention to somewhere out of this physical world. My art is imbued with art history and movements, specifically influenced by several modernist artists like Piet Mondrian, Carl Andrew, and Constantin Brancusch. From inspirations of deconstructionisms in the style by Mondrian, and an absolute material interest from Andrew's works, to the avant-garde attitude of Brancusch. My focuses on my exercise are discovery and texture of multiple mediums. Conceptually, I also concentrate on my distance in between the physical reality and abstract realm. During my exploration, I will question myself: What is the distance I should maintain in between the realistic and minimal features? Where could I go after I escaped it from one of the realms? Plus, what is the liminal space to me spiritually? The biggest challenge of being an artist is learning the discipline. Being an artist requires to create. No matter the idea is creative or not, going to studio and outputting daily should be minimum, and I am still learning to be more hardworking. Another biggest challenge for me personally is to communicate with the others. I am not a good talker. I speak better with my official language, but it is unavoidable to talk to people during events. So this is the second challenge to me, I believe. An advice I would give to my younger me. Is keep going. To be honest, I am lucky to have the people around me and helped me a lot, which I think the fate was helping me in sense. I just believe my life so far is the best arrangement by the God. Talking about some unusual techniques, I like to use correction pen as a medium. It's my habit since secondary school. I really like how bright the white is and the unique texture of it. Although I used quite a lot of medium in my sculptures, like concrete, PLA, and steel, I do not think I have tried much unconventional mediums or techniques other than correction pen. My way to process a material is ordinary. I think in my practice, the present reflection on my coordinates during the process of making is the soul of the artwork. Art doesn't have to be innovative. I still can create something special with a common material. Just like me, as an artist who is not really talented, but I could still make something special with my techniques and background. Music is an enjoyment for some artists, but for me, depending on my workload, as if more workload in a day, more likely I will not listen to music because I will focus on transferring from task to task. If you see me with a headphone on, which means I have a more relaxing day. And since sometimes I have to mix some powder-like materials like plaster and cement, it's easier for me to not to wear my earphone because I have to wear my face mask. 
I think the best reaction someone has had to my artwork is their honesty in comments, especially when they could also refer me to some artist's works. Sometimes it's good to hear compliment, but I would like to hear critics more as I see opinions as my motivation to improve and a reminder to me that I still have a long journey to be able to become a good artist. I will not expect viewers to fully understand my intention of creating and visual language in the artwork only by guessing and reading the description, as this might need them to acknowledge my background and history of Hong Kong. But what I wish they could take away from my work is the peace of being simple and enjoy the moments of being distracted by my artworks from their lives. Thank you so much for the time. My first ever solo show, Tension of Escape, is going to hold in Winchester School of Art on the 1st of November. Please come and have a look if you have time and in Britain. I'll be there and I'll see you there. Bye.